What's good, YouTube family? I wanted to talk about this cash situation, a little bit updates. There's a lot of hoopla, a lot of he say, she say. A lot of people bringing up a lot of things, ain't got nothing to do with nothing. So I have to do a disclaimer with this video. I'm bringing up what others are saying and we clarifying some things. Also, leaving speculations for y'all to break it down and y'all do y'all homework. But y'all know I do hard hitting and bring things out here what they bringing out. We're gonna do an update on cash. You feel me on the death scenes and the whereabouts and situations, speculations about females this and females that. You know, pretty much a summary and a rundown. Before we get started, click that like button and let's get started with the homie Duck on the intro. Let's go. So with the situation that y'all see in the conclusion is they were saying that a female was with cash and, and a lot happened. You feel me? Before I even get started with our own speculations and our own street inside information, let's go with what, you know, the state of Chicago, I mean, Illinois is saying about it. Now, according to authorities, Trenton Hamilton, a 31 year old Chicago rapper known as FBG Cash was shot multiple times you know what i mean and before we get started with the update let's give you the video to know what happened the activity in the upper russian neighborhood uh going live to chopper 78 and ashland uh, again a police investigation underway so we will continue to uh, keep tabs on this give you more information so again in the auburn gresham neighborhood 81st close marshfield to ashland now, what they're saying is a 21, uh, um, basically a corner third is Trenton Hamilton, 31 year old FBG, known as FBG that is, was shot multiple times and declared dead at Christ Medical Center in Oak Lawn on Friday. A 29 year old woman was wounded in the left arm and upper back and was sent to Christ in serious condition. It is unclear what the woman's relation to Hamilton is. Hamilton was driving around with the woman asleep in the car when a black Cadillac drew up in the 1600 block of West 81st Street, which is Killer Ward, by the way, Vaughn and them people and folks, but let's keep it going. Basically, NBC Chicago said someone with a rifle jumped out of an escalator and began firing. According to authorities, Hamilton took a firearm and fired back. We're going to bring that part up later too, y'all. He fired back. There is currently no suspects in custody. Now, on the 13th of June, 2022, on 1030, this is what they came up with their new little situation. They found casings at the scene and, and it got, you know, tied to a whole lot of, which is why they're not releasing some information. According to the Chicago Sun-Times, authorities found 23 shells casings on the scenes of the shooting that killed FBG Cash and the unified, uh, unidentified woman. So, uh, I mean, damn, I don't know if the woman died or not based on what they're writing, but let's keep going with it. Now, the suspect was driving a dark four-door car, car, according to Chicago Police Department. Now, was the shooter caught? Let's continue reading. According to authorities, the gunmen fled the area westbound and is at large. Now, the other thing they did with the update was, what is the name of the woman he was with? And they wrote, the woman identity has not been identified, even though dudes on YouTube blogs already been identifying it. Remember, y'all, what I'm reading the disclaimer is what the news got. I'm going to tell you what we know, but let's stay tuned for what we know. But let's keep going. Now, they saying her condition is still said to be critical. You know what I mean? Where was FBG Cash treated at? CBS and News reported that FBG Cash and a woman he was with were brought to Advocate Christ Medical Center, where he was declared dead. Now, where was FBG Cash when he was attacked? According to the Daily Mail, police said that Cash and a 29-year-old woman he was accompanied by were attacked in a vehicle in the Auburn and Gresham neighborhood in Chicago around 5.30 a.m. Now, you got fans that was responding, and they were showing Cash, you know, songs. Now, let's go to where they talked about Cash firing back. Now, they're saying FBG Cash reportedly 
returned fire in the shooting. Tristan Hamilton, who used the real name FBG Cash as a rapper, was driving with a woman. They keep being repetitive, y'all. But let's get back to the guns. They're saying the performer reportedly grabbed a handgun and returned fire. He was hit by multiple bullets and was pronounced dead at that scene. Now, I'm not going to keep reading, you know, a lot of the things that they did. Basically, there was a lot of connections between the victims, what bloggers were saying. You feel me? Dudes was like, this is a female he was in the studio with, and Shorty dropped the location. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep saying allege. I don't want our words or our videos get somebody drilled out here. I want people to do their proper dual diligence of homework, but the streets is talking. Besides Cash busting back, which we knew that part, they're saying two different females and then two dudes we seen that hopped out or, or ring cameras. I'm being told the cops got that already, but they're not specifying anything. A lot of dudes in, on the block who are affiliated are doing videos like people are already narrowing it down. You already got Inspector Gadgets out there solving the case, but they're solving it in the street way. So they're not going to let it be known amongst us and tell us. But there's been a lot of celebrities who uh, unfortunately died in their cars. People, you know, I'm not going to say their names, rest in peace to those families. There's been a lot of people out here gone. But, you know, the fans want to get the answers. And we know about alleged truth tellers and everybody and other people talk trench news y'all go subscribe to all these people um king act a whole lot of other people we're being told that cash also was being followed during the whole time people seen when he left the airport and tracked him down i'm hearing studio sessions was involved it's a lot of he says she says multiplications for you to subtract you hear me and it was in front of his mom house allegedly they're saying he didn't go there and lacking it was a situation he most definitely was set up, which we knew already. So I'm just giving you guys an update. It's the news update. I am a journalist, ladies and gentlemen. Some of the street stuff that I heard already, I just told y'all the speculations. And I have to say, allegedly, the rest, maybe it's out of anger people are telling me, but they're saying Cash ain't no dummy. You feel me? This was a move that was celebrated by a lot of his opp uh, oppositions, including uh, uh, allegedly Billionaire Black, which I'll be doing a separate video. I don't know how serious it is but we'll be asking questions and the domino effects about it was it something serious was it just a diss because of his brother but when somebody says the melee way we definitely got to check that out and we know billionaire black been going crazy on the melee way shout out the billionaire black so it's more of these speculations that we got to look at subtract the negative and put two and two together and do our own little research for closure but right now instead of me doing way too much speculations i had to use receipts from the news and things that people are saying with respect because his family's still going through it now his dad man he spoke with trent's news and he spoke about a lot of good things a favorite food cash like and he 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 got away with a lot of speculations and got it out the way shout out to his dad manny and my heart's out with his family prayers to his mom as well you feel me now the young ladies i'll be giving y'all more updates on them i'm hearing a gazillion rumors about them to the point i had to be professional and not to even say some of them because some of them are kind of crazy out here you hear me man rest in peace to everybody man y'all celebrate with y'all family friends and loved ones stay blessed out here folks love